Now tonight we've got a very special edition of Come Dine With Me and what we've got is we've got a northerner, a brummy and someone from down south. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, come dine with me. sure what she's cooking for us tonight I think you know she said chicken but I don't know what sort of chicken you know my worst fear so it would be chicken in some sort of creamy cheese sauce because they ate creamy cheese sauce or if she put olives in it that would be pretty minging as well or if it's some on bones it's nice to know you're not fussy then don't I hope she don't do any fish I keep worrying that you know because she lives near the Thames that she might keep wanting to put fish in her didn't you like fish pudding and that anyway Let's see what I'll find out when I get there. So I've bought her a, a nice bottle of um, Prosecco because I think she'd like Prosecco so I've bought oh, I that suppose it's better than a bottle of Lambrini. Dinner for us. Just hope I like it. Well, the menu tonight is chicken and that's all I know so um, I'll tell you what, I really love chicken and bread sauce sandwiches on white bread. <laughs> well, I'm not sure that Nicola's going to be making chicken butties, Chris. Well, chicken hot pot. Uh, I'd say um, chicken and eel. Mm. Yeah, yeah, chicken and mackerel. Mm. Chicken and mackerel pasties. Mm. So we're here at Nicola's house now. It's very nice, very nice warm welcome. She's got all the finds in finds boxes. Goes along, along. All them pipes. And then this is just phenomenal. Look at it. It's a table with the glass top, just all full of pipes. More pipes. More pipes, but anyway, she's brought us our starter. Some olives. 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 <laughs> you, you, you are keen on olives. Not really, Nicola, don't hate yeah. olives. Yeah. For the starter, she's not forgot alcohol though, so you see, she's got it right. So I'm right. Here we have a Smart oh, move giving John Zombrini a miss. Mmm, lovely. Madame, yes, please. It's good that I've got a cat flap because that's where I keep the squirrel. Cat flaps are usually for cats, not squirrels, Nicola. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pipe heaven here. This is the pipe with the longest stem that she's ever found. Have you seen how long that is? I'm surprised you didn't say, hey, oh, that's a long one. It's amazing, it's like, it's like pipe ball heaven here, look. Even Chris has got one. <laughs> <laughs> we're now going to go to the dining room. And we're very excited about this because she's like dressed... like a little peek through the porthole? Oh. Oh, she's just... Oh. It's going to be the best come down with me ever. She's got everything historical in use. There you go. Oh. Oh, look at it, it's brilliant! <laughs> look at it! Oh, yes! Yes! So, yes. Sorry, are. Nicola, I've got to just look at all this for a bit. Oh, yes, you want me to turn the actual lights on? No, no, I can see here. I've got. Is that a proper bone there? Is that somebody's dead leg? Uh, oh, is it an antler? An antler? Oh, right, I thought that's it was. An antler. Oh. Um, I think, yeah. Um, oh, I don't it look lovely? No, oh, Nicola, it does, you've done a really eat that. And look, we've even got this is my a Roman tile for yeah, some. This, this is a post medieval candlestick. Post medieval candlestick. <laughs> and we've got a Roman tile for. What, what, what are we having on that? Well, With any the, luck, um, it's going to be chicken, um, olives, and creamy oh, cheese. The chicken thing. The, the flamingo stew <laughs> on there. <laughs> Oh, oh look. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, so isn't it lovely? Um, Nicola, I've got to say, this has got to be the best meal room I've ever been in, ever. Well, do you know what? I've got to be honest, this is the first time I've done this. Is it? Yeah, I bet you say that to all the guests. Yeah, absolutely. Look. <laughs> 
That was amazing. I love it. Well, the chickens arrived. We don't actually know what's in there yet. And we don't actually know what these are for either. They're cups for drinking water. Don't you have them up north? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, did you make that yourself? It's not yes. out of a packet. I don't know. Real potatoes. That's what they say. I'll come down with me. So, have you got your uh, the points? We've got. Well, yes, for the you taxi. For the taxi when we go home, but we can't tell you what they are. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, <laughs> we want to know what entertainment you've got. Oh, I can sing a song. <laughs> I've got salt here, by the way. Oh, thank you. I'll move this off. No, no, no. She said salt, Dom. Wrong place. So, tell you in London, can't you? Oh, so it's chicken and chorizo stew, not any cheese or cream in sight, which is really, really exciting, isn't it, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like, I tell you what, this is the best room in the whole world. Just the stuff in here is like unbelievable. Taught me something in this room, you know, it's your keeps, everything, even a stiletto shoe from the 70s. <laughs> 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 Scratch the sugar. <gasps> Oops, did you forget that the salt was in that bowl? I didn't know there was salt in the bowl of tea. Oh, God. Oh, what have we got for dessert, Nicola? For dessert, we have Cornish ice cream. Oh, because you're from Cornwall, aren't That's you? That's right. We have melted uh, chocolates yeah. over the top of the ice cream, and we have raspberries and strawberries. And did you melt the chocolate yourself? I did, I put it in a little bowl and yeah. uh, popped it in the microwave. <laughs> oh, Nicola, I think Chris will be knocking a point off for that one. I'll we'll have to knock her a point off for the microwave, Chris. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh no, not more mess. Don't you ever use a spoon? I'm not putting anything bad in it. <laughs> <laughs> that was really nice. I really enjoyed that. Oh, I hope we get some good points for that. Well, we'll find out in the taxi, won't we? It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, look at that. They're coming. My guests are coming. I'm going to get out the posh wine bottle holder. And did, did you find that in the Thames? I didn't actually. What oh I no. could have is a bit of driftwood. Yeah. Ain't it that good how it sort of balances? It's amazing, isn't it? Mm. So now I've used it. Right. Better get, happy. Better, get a, <laughs> better get a bit in my glass then. <laughs> I got the opportunity to use all these things I don't usually use. To embrace your own. It's actually part of an old railway, you know. Um, I like the medieval. Mm. Is it? Yes, isn't that amazing? It's just, it's on the portable antiquity scheme. Yeah, and it's actually in use again. Hello. Oh no, they've been on the wine. I'm not sure we're ready for this sort of entertainment. Not just yet. Have you been alright? Only as long as we love, we love, we love, we love. Can't remember the words. Can't believe. You don't need to know the words. You can just feel the song. Telephone line, we do. Oh, oh, So, in terms of entertainment, Nicola, I've got to give you 10 out of 10. There's never been anybody that's entertained me so much with such fantastic finds. Look at that. Oh, it's been amazing. It's just everywhere, everywhere you look in this house, there's an antique. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, she just said, yeah, just have a look under here. And so she looked at all along with the four pipes. <laughs> I've never seen so many pipes in my entire life. Oh, they're absolutely... So these are just all your plain ones? Um, yeah, these are 18th century. Um... God. You know what? I've only ever found two pipes, me, and they haven't even had a stem on. They've just been like a bit of a pipe, like that. So that's a big chunky pipe. So that'd be newish because it was yeah, quite big. Just a little bit more modern that one. That's, a, that's absolutely incredible. <laughs> pipe world, isn't it? Pipe land. Well, it's been a wonderful night, and it's chicken and chorizo. It's going to have to be a nine. 
99. 99? Yeah, that's what I'm scoring, Nicola. Definitely 99. Well, I've got to say, I don't go out for meals very often, but it was like fantastic to be invited round to Nicola's house for come down with me. And um, so I'm going to have to look, whole, look at the whole evening. Now, so I, she didn't, she, she gave me olives at first, was it, which was not, not very good. But then she sort of made a big comeback by doing chicken and chorizo um, and, and lovely mash. And then she gave me some beautiful chocolate on some ice cream at the end. But I find, looking around her house, and, and a lovely choice of music of ELO, everything. No, wait, it's not a 10. I've got a minute. I'm giving Nicola an 100. <laughs> I'm giving her an 100. Because <laughs> she's just the best thing in the world. I love Nicola. Love, love you, Nicola. I'm back now. Now, tomorrow, the plan is going um, mudlarking. <clears throat> My tongue. We're going mudlarking tomorrow. I think Sai Fine's coming. So it's going to be all exciting, isn't it? Oh, can't wait. So, yeah, what an absolutely great day it's been today. I've absolutely loved it. Been out since half past nine. Travelled for six hours. Had a great time with Chris and Nicola. And now it's a uh, kippity kip 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 before doing a bit of muddy mud 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 Love to find a clay pipe with a bit of a face on it, you know, like. Chris would like to find a bit of poison bottle. To be honest with you, I'd be just glad to find anything because... You know, in my eyes, I'm not very good at that sort of scanning stuff because I'm used to looking at grass. The only thing I look in grass for is, is to see if there's any dog poo to stand in. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be any good at it, but we can just give it a go, can't we? Mm, yeah.